Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at the S2 Engine HD. This is a general purpose software kit for developing and running video games and virtual reality applications. And it's dedicated for indie developers, so that's pretty cool. I am not a game developer, I'm just going to be showing you a quick look at what you can expect with this program. You can find this on Steam. Um, this is the sample project, so all these are default assets, and I'm just flying around as a camera. There's some nice ocean waves, the water looks really cool, different effects going on here and different like rippling tides it's pretty awesome i'll show you some cool things with the with the ocean later on over here you can find some or a cool little river stream of water flowing into the ocean up here you can see uh, a little waterfall looking thing and a bunch of uh, vegetation looks great over here there's a dock and there's a cool little script here so i'm gonna go ahead and show you um, something kind of cool. So you can test your game at any point. You can just drop in. And here's my little uh, first person shooter with my gun. If I go on this bridge here, it says the weather is not so good. And then all of a sudden it starts raining and then the wind starts picking up. And you can see the rain on that, uh, I guess, bus over there. You see the wind starts to pick up and the vegetation starts moving more quickly as the wind gets faster and the lighting change. I don't know, it's really cool. Uh, so I'm not just going to end that. I'm going to show you something else. I don't know, where am I? Okay, over here. Sorry about my uh, my mouse speed. My mouse speed is way too high for this <laughs> and I uh, it gets a little bit jerky. Over here there is a zombie spawner, so I'm going to start from here and there's going to be some zombies that spawn. There's a zombie right there. I can go ahead and kill it. Obviously this is a sample project and not like a finished game, so don't expect anything too great here. The zombies will come after me and they will eat my brains. So there's a lot of other features in this uh, program. You can uh, go ahead and select objects. You can move them. Oops, I just moved that way too far. Move them like this. You can rotate them. I think I need the X. Oops, nope. The Y. There we go. You can rotate them like other projects, like or like other uh, programs like Unity or uh, Maya. You can scale objects up and down. Oops. So I can make this car huge if I wanted to. So that's kind of cool. I'm just going to keep that there. And it seems to still look really good, even with uh, huge uh, objects. And it casts shadows, like, naturally, so that's awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the tide. I'm going to go ahead and mess with the water. Uh, some water effects. Change the waves. Do some cool stuff. I'm going to go to special effects. Close that. So if I sc scroll down to, where is it, C, I can go ahead and affect the density, which will, oops, oh wait, not the density, density just changes the color, uh, I meant the bump map, and I can make it huge, like waves forming, that kind of changes the scale of things, of the waves anyway, let's go ahead and turn that back down. Maybe turn up a little bit, maybe like that much. Um, then if I go over to, let's see, environment, I can, there's more options with the water. I can change the height so I can kind of uh, flood the whole island if I wanted to. And it really like seems to work really well no matter what height, kind of merges with the land. Alright, so let me show you some of the other things. Let's see. You can change the color of the water, the reflectiveness. You can change the height. Oh wait, that's what I was doing earlier, right? Or the height of the waves. Make them big, make them small. Uh, you can change the wave speed. So if I go over here a little bit, see the waves are kind of going a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and lower the height just a little bit, just so I can see more. Let's go ahead and lower that back down, just a little bit. Foam width, you can change how much foam is in the water. Sea length, not sure what sea length does. 
kind of just makes it smooth or not as smooth. So like you can make it really smooth if you turn this way down, or you can make it a little bit more. Uh, um, I don't know what you call it, dense. I would suppose. I would say. There we go. Choppiness. Uh, just looking at all the little features, I could change the color if I wanted to and make it look uh, different, but I think it's fine. Let's go back to weather. Let's go ahead and change the position of the sun. Or actually, I could change the sky as well, but let's do the sun first. I could make a nice little sunset. If I go to, let's see, environment, sun, direction. So I can go ahead and, oops, lower this down to about here, or a little bit lower. Oops. Can make a nice little sunset or sun uh, sunrise. Oops. I'll try to change the direction here. Let's let's move it into the water. Let's see if I can make a sunset. Oh, almost had it. There we go. That looks really nice. The lighting in this uh, little engine looks great. Oh, look at that. Very cool. You can also change the uh, the sky and all sorts of other stuff. Let's, let's go back to weather. Let's see. You can see the clouds are moving too. I didn't notice that before. Um, so I can add more clouds, make them more dense. I can make them darker by changing the color change like the general colors let's see oops try to make them a little bit darker ooh that changed a lot of things and you can also make it rain and you can impact the uh storm by adding like lightning and thunder oops that's way too much sorry about that and puddles on the ground uh, wind power you can change the direction of the wind going wherever way you want and all that cool stuff mm. <laughs> very strange <laughs> like a very strange storm and see if I I'm just gonna play around for a little while. Change the reflectiveness of the sun, I would suppose. Um, reflective power. Color. I wonder if I can change it to, like purple. And then the bump density. Whoa. Some cool looking waves. Not sure what that means. Um, then let's go back to environment. Let's go down to. Let's actually change the position of the stun. Oh, that looks really awesome. Look at that. That looks really cool. I like that. Let's go ahead and change the color of the uh, sea. Maybe I can make it like a dark red. Maybe like a blood color. That looks more like pink because of the reflection of the sun. Um, maybe if I lower this a bit. Oh, that looks awesome. Let's lower the wave speed a bit. And then let's uh, change the height. Change it back to normal. Maybe, I forgot what normal was. Maybe like right here. Really cool looking. So yeah, that's uh, some of the things you can expect from the S2 Engine HD. I've had fun messing around with things. There's other things like terrain deformation. You can uh, deform like the ground, make mountains, and whatever you want. Oops, runtime error. Uh-oh. I think I uh, accidentally did too much here. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to end this video here. This is just a quick look at the S2 Engine HD. If you uh, enjoyed what you saw, be sure to check it out on uh, Steam. It's only like $20 or so. Um, 
might be a good tool to use in your uh, new video game or indie game, whatever you're uh, developing for. And hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video and have a nice day.